All right, guys, what's up? Welcome back to Average Takes. Welcome back. Hello. Hey, Trevor. How you doing, buddy? Wow. Somebody's in the house. That's crazy. We're a little excited. Hello. So I, I asked him a little early. I asked him before the music. That's I'm, fine. I'm a little excited. That's fine. We want to know how he is. All right. Uh, today, we're doing the hour all-star ballots. Um, we're voting for MLB all-stars um, and going to submit them. We are going to do this as true and possible as we can. Right now, right here. All right. What's up? Average takes in the building. I got Roman next to me. I got Shinny next to me. And I'm Bob. Um, welcome back to Average Takes, guys. All three of us <coughs> in the house, back together. Um Happy to see you, Trevor. Happy you're back. Like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, All-Star voting. So the All-Star game is around the corner. We got about a month away. Um, You're able to vote five times a day per 24 hours. This is my fifth, to be honest. Really? Oh, oh, wow. So you almost maxed out. This is my first. Save your best for last. Yep. No. Maybe. (laughs) All right. We'll see. Um, yeah, this is my first, but they're announcing it everywhere. Vote, vote, vote. Um, I think we're paired up with the Mariners this year as our... Yeah. Yep. I saw C. Diego. C- yeah, I saw that. C. What's the Pirates' fair letter? Seattle. What's the Pirates' fair letter? R. You would think it's R, <laughs> but it's the letter C. Oh. I think Bob got that one right. <laughs> <laughs> no. uh, you would think Bob got that question right. No, <laughs> no, he didn't. You would think it's R, but it's actually the C. I, I understand where you're at. All right, whatever. I understand whatever. All right, all star votes. Let's get it going. Everyone's got to vote. Um, so make sure you guys are voting at home. Your favorite player's favorite player needs to be in this all star game. All right, our favorite players. All right, maybe maybe your favorite team's favorite player. Um. But yeah, so let's get into it. Um, First base, we're starting there, as everyone does when they open their MLB.com slash all-star ballot. First base, who are you guys looking at? Why are you guys looking at them? Who's first? Um, American League, National League. Go ahead. How how are you feeling? You already got them selected? My American League is Yande Diaz. Yande. Yande Diaz, um, I think, is a clear clear runner. but 313 average he's got 12 home runs 34 rbis i mean i think he's a big reason why the rays are in first place that's my first baseman for american should i go go national or yep um national is i wasn't ready for this i'll go freddie freeman oh wow Um, i hate to do it but i have to do it i mean the numbers are there 383 or 338 i mean batting average 13 home runs 44 rbis and he's on a hot streak right now yep all right um i'll go next um for american league i'm gonna go for a guy who's probably not getting too many votes so i want to give mine to him um former friend of the squad and i think he's putting in terrific numbers a guy who didn't have the biggest name coming out um josh naylor of the guardians 282 eight bombs 48 rbis that's so clutch 48 rbis he leads the american league in rbis that is what you need out of a guy who's going to bat middle of your lineup consistency 282 in this day and age i mean love it um and my national league um to be honest this one is kind of a uh, it's it's kind of hard for me. I mean, I'm going to end up going with exactly who Roman picked because he deserves it. Um, and absolutely is destroying all other first basements in this league um, so far to start the year. I mean, both sides, American. I mean, he could be the MVP this year as of where we're at right now. Stats are that good. So that's where I'm at at first base. Trevor? Nice. Um, Padres told me to be C. Seattle, so I'm going to be C. Diego. Um, 
AL, I'm going Ty France, Aztec native, Padre, ex Padre, just like his numbers 283, five home runs, 28 RBIs, a 782 OPS. Pretty outstanding, if you ask me. The National League, you already know what I'm doing. Jake the Rake Cronenworth hitting 215, seven home runs, and 24 RBIs, 702 OPS. Like I said, these are these guys are outstanding. Can't wait to see him in the All Star game. Um, do you want to double up? Are you that far ahead, or do you want to wait and go back to Roman? I can double up. Um, okay. For second base, I am out of the American League. I have to go with my boy Marcus Simeon. He's going absolutely crazy, and is on my fancy team, so he's getting some props from me. Then out of the NL, I'm going to do. Hassan Kim, an absolute defensive wizard on the field. And you, you don't see the defensive stats here. So I'll just name the offensive. 241, five dingers, 20 RBIs, and a 713 OPS. This guy fucking rakes, and he's a defensive fucking maestro. So let's go Hassan Kim. I'm, I'm right there with you, Trevor. I am actually piggybacking both of your picks, um, Simeon and Kim. Hassan Kim actually is a plus 16 save runs as a defender right now. So I'll give you the defensive stats. That's number one in baseball. That's six runs over number two in baseball. He saved six more runs as a defender than the next best defender. I mean, he saved 10 in his new position at second base. Then when he's covering for Manny Machado, he saved two defensive runs over there at third. And then, Oh, Oh, yeah, let's go back to short when he's covering Xander. Two defensive runs saved there. And then uh, I'm missing a couple, but he has 16. Wow, did you hear that, ladies and gentlemen? 16. 16. He's a fucking defensive Incredible. wizard. And at every position. Don't matter where he's at. Put him third, at first. short, second. I don't want to go first yet. Third. <laughs> third, short, and second. He's been outstanding. This man is a defensive wizard, and defense deserves love. And because the second base, the rest of the slate, doesn't really stick out, I'm giving my boy Hassan Kim some love. And he he deserves it. And I think he's ninth in in ranking right now. That's not even fair. So shout out Hassan Kim. You already oh you said Marcus Simeon, right? Yep, yep, yep. All right. I'm gonna have to piggyback off that because I'm also going Hasa and Kim. These guys explained it all. He's one of my favorite players right now, not only because he's on the Padres, but he's killing it. He looks makes defense look so easy. And these are some hard plays he's making. But um, my American League is gonna have to be an ex Padre, Brandon Drury. Um, I think he's doing excellent for the Angels, um, batting a 258, 10 home runs, 30 RBIs, um, helping out Otani and Trout. Um, tremendously. <laughs> snake, we're snaking. Snaking, snaking? Yep, yep, if you can. Uh, my third baseman is going to be Josh Jung for the Texas Rangers for the American League. Um, I think he's doing fantastic. He's on my fantasy team, so I'd love to have him in the All-Star game. 285, 13 home runs, 39 RBIs, killing it. And for the National League, I'm going to have to say Manny Machado, baby. And that's just purely because I'm a Padre fan. He's not having the great season. Yeah. Uh, um, um, Yeah, that's all fan. All fan (laughs) right there. A little bit of a homer pick there. Um, (laughs) Homer pick here. uh, My fantasy team, Jose Ramirez, absolutely been worth my first round pick. 282, 10 bombs, 30 RBS, 850 OPS. Just went on a tear recently. Um, and then NL, I'm going to shout out some uh, JD Davis over there for the Giants, having a comeback of all comebacks because the Mets were done, sick and tired of them, got rid of them, and is playing a great third base to 84, 9 bombs, 34 RBIs, and 850 OPS. Uh, that works. That works. Shining third baseman. My third baseman. Um, I'm going to go with a guy who straight is robbing his team right now of $30 million a year. Anthony Rendon of the Los <laughs> Angeles Angels. 276, one dinger, and 20 RBIs. 
I can't tell you the last time I've seen him actually play a game, and that's why I'm voting for him. I'm looking at guys who aren't going to get votes somewhere else who needs that love, and that's Anthony Rendon. I Just a beast. And now I'm going to stick with the script. Manny Machado, I have seen him make some crazy plays since he's been back from the aisle the last like three or four days. Thanks. His bat warming up. The weather's getting hotter. This team's going to get catch fire. I like Manny Machado, the best NL third baseman in the world. Yeah, he's definitely going to be fucking looking great by the time his all-star game comes. Um, we're, we're snaking. snaking. We're snaking. snaking. <laughs> Um, wow, short stops are pretty damn good in the AL. Very true. And I got a lot of these guys on my fantasy team, too. Dang. Um, okay. Well, I'm going to go with Derek Jeter 2.0, Anthony Volpe from the New York (laughs) Yankees. Oh, my God. No way. He is hitting 186 with nine bombs and 26 RBIs, a 605 OPS. You know I absolutely love my Yankees, and this man deserves to be in this game. That's insane. For the city. New York loves him. He's a New York boy. City boys up one with Anthony Volpe in the NL. Xander Bogarts don't care about his wrist because he's going crazy. 258, seven bombs, and 21 RBIs. All of that home runs and RBIs were done in April. He's hitting 740 OPS. I can't tell you his recent stats because I don't know them, but I absolutely love Xander Bogarts. I might be a homer, but I do not care. Man is like third in the voting, and he's sucking. (laughs) So that's my short stops. (laughs) All right, my shortstops. Um, going Corey Seager of the Rangers over in the AL. He's batting a 348, seven bombs, 34 RBIs, and a thousand and five OPS. Um, and my shortstop in the NL is rookie Matt McClain. Um, absolutely killing it so far. 336, two homers, 10 RBIs, and 905 in his early start to his career. Great pickup for my fantasy team. Um, filling a much needed role. Um, so looking forward to the rest of his career and season. Um, Roman, short stops. Short stops. I'm gonna go Boba Shett from the Blue Jays on the American League. I mean, having a great year already. Fire. 317, 14 home runs and um 43 RBIs. Um, clear cut, pretty good at playing shortstop on uh, National League. I'm going to have to go with Trey Turner. Uh, I wish he could have came to the Padres. Um, um, this is a fan vote kind of for me, but uh, 248. Batting a 248, seven home runs, 20 Ooh. RBIs. Fuck you guys. Ooh. And the catcher position. I this think one's this tough. One's a little hard for me, honestly. But My buddy at work, um, not going to shout no names, but he was arguing with me that Will Smith is having a better season than Sean Murphy. And I was trying to tell him, I have both of them on my fantasy team, so I would notice this. And Sean Murphy is actually having a better season. I mean, yes, Will Smith is batting at 291 to Sean Murphy's 284, but Murphy has 12 bombs to Will Smith's 9, 42 RBS to Will Smith's 33, and has a 929 OPS to Will Smith's 905 OPS. To me, there is a clear-cut winner in that conversation. But go ahead, Roman, and select your select your catchers. <laughs> well, after that, I don't, mm-hmm. I don't know how to choose her. Um, I'm going to have to – sorry, big pause here. Yeah, Hold for dramatic <laughs> What's the what's the Heems guy first first name on the Rangers? Joe Jonah Jonah. I thought it was Joe Jonah Joe Hine. Hine. Jonah Hill Joe Hine from the Texas Rangers. I mean the Texas Rangers are first in their division for a reason, and I think Joe Heim is a big part of that. Two seventy seven, seven home runs, um, and forty six RBIs. So, yeah, that's my catcher for the AL. My National League is, um. Uh, I'm going to have to say Bob Sean Murphy of the Atlanta Braves. Bob kind wow. of proved it there. Wow. 
That was he a nice little discussion vote. I had. <laughs> He's not getting my vote. And that's for damn sure. We had a nice little discussion. Good play, Rendon. Um, so I will be drafting my catcher now. Yep. Um, Adelie Rutschman of the Orioles. Wow. Absolutely stud over there. And I want to start padding this man's all-stars early in his career. Okay. Because he's going to be one of those guys at the end that they're going to contemplate. Is he a Hall of Famer or not? Calling a shot early. So we're going to need to pad these all-stars in here soon. Adley Rutschman. Adley Rutschman of the Baltimore Orioles. The Orioles are a great team. And it starts with this man being called up. They Their franchise changed that day. They've been great since. Yeah, right. I'm excited for That's them to facts. make playoffs, hopefully. So I'm going Adelaide Rutschman, and then catcher in the NL is Sean Murphy. I do have both Sean Murphy and Will Smith on my fantasy team, and they are both going to make the All-Star game. So this does not matter, this argument that I proceeded to begin this conversation with. Right. But (laughs) I do believe that Sean Murphy, at this moment, is having a better season overall. (laughs) Bless. Thank you very much. And the Braves are better. Go ahead. Wow. All right. Starting with the AL. My catcher is going to be Martin Maldonado. I think he retired a couple months ago. And I don't know why he's on here, but that's respect for me to retire midseason. You're getting my vote. That takes some balls to do, especially after winning a World Series. Way to walk away from the game on a high note. Um, Martin Maldonado. And in the NL... You guessed it, Austin fucking Nola. I absolutely no. love seeing this guy play every single day. I, in that I, brown thought, you and gonna, I thought you were going to write in. I thought you had a little, you had leaked information on Twitter that you were going to write in your catcher position for the newly acquired San Diego's backstop. Gary Sanchez? That, that I had did, done that. That did leak. Oh, you saw that? Uh, that leaked on Twitter. That was, yeah, I leaked it, unfortunately, but <laughs> I don't see him on this, so I have to go with. I thought with, you were going to write him in. I have to go with my script and Austin Nola, oh, okay. 135 average, one home run, seven RBIs. Just an absolute stud. I love him defensively. He has the most uh, stolen bases allowed in the league, um, which is pretty impressive not to throw out anybody. But you get in my vote, baby. I love the Padres, so I'm going Austin Nola here. I think here. he had one recently this week. What? Nope, uh, that wasn't him. That was Gary. Are you sure? Yep. He didn't have one? He didn't have one. Not one. Not one. Are you sure? I can't confirm. But we're going to also take a little mute break here because the outfielders are absolutely insane. Outfielders are insane. insane. I cannot snake have, at the moment. Do you have I your go. outfielders? I could go. Okay. Cool. Because okay. okay. I cannot Roman, snake. Roman takes over at outfielders. Yeah, I'm going to go Masataka Yoshida from Boston <laughs> Red Sox. Um, Say that again. What a pull. Masataka Yoshida. Um, what he's a batting a 300. Uh, yep, batting a 307 home runs, 33 RBIs. Um, I think he is playing tremendous for the Red Sox. Um, I'm also going to go Josh Lowe from Tampa Bay, um, batting in 298, 11 home runs, 39 RBIs. Rays are hot. Already said it a couple times. And then for my last pick for the American League, I'm going to go Randy Rosarena from the Rays, a uh, Mexican legend forever, uh, two, batting in 289, 12 home runs, 44 RBIs. All studs. National League, of course, Fernando Tatis, mother freaking junior. Um, got to make it in there. Um, don't know his numbers right now, but that's kind of a fan vote. 272, 12, and 32 bomb, uh, RBIs in 845 OPS. Perfect. Thank you. And then I got a Ronald Acuna Jr. batting a 328, 13 home runs, 37 RBIs, and he's looking better than ever right now. He keeps hitting jacks. And for my last one, I am going to have to go Jerickson Profar because he's on my fantasy team, and he's not doing bad for the Rockies. Can't lie. 243, five home runs, 25 RBIs, but playing good. Those are my outfielders. Okay, so I could go now. Um, Starting with the AL, my first outfielder is going to be Aaron Judge. Aaron Judge about a 291, 19 bombs, 40 RBIs with 1,078 OPS. Um, absolute stud, uh, reigning MVP, all of it. Uh, my next outfielder, um, I talked about padding um, all-star games for, to, for Hall of Fame earlier. 
Um, Mike Trout's my next all star center fielder. Um, 254, 14, 36, 826 OPS. Um, Mike Trout is the goat of goats of our generation, best baseball player the last two decades. Um, and wow, that was a bomb. Um, yeah, Mike Trout, absolutely love him, big fan. Uh, my next one, um, is Sturry Uri's absolute speed fucking demon for the A's and has helped them in the last five games tremendously. Five game winning streak for the A's. 30 stolen bases already. We're a little over a third way through the season. Fucking stud. He has a stolen base every other night. I mean, fun to watch. So I wrote him into my um, ballot. And then I got the NL. I got Ronald Cooney Jr., obviously, 331, 13, 39 RBS, 965 OPS. Stud carrying this Braves team. Um, Fernando Tatis Jr., 272, 1232, 845, which I mentioned earlier while Roman picked him. Another great pick. Also <coughs> leads in outfield assists, and I think assists Love among that. all that. players. And that's what assists means is not like basketball where you're assisted points. You're assisted getting runners out. Your runners saved, basically. He has a cannon from right field. Love and it. throwing guys out of second and third. Um, and I'm pretty sure guys are stopping to, stopping challenging him. Um, but he's also been making some great plays out there in outfield. Tracked down a ball that I thought it was a for sure a gapper in Colorado, the biggest outfield in the bigs. So absolutely stud. And then my last pick, Corbin Carroll, 308, 13, 33, 968. The fucking Diamondbacks are so good right now. Three games up on the Dodgers. Almost, uh, I think they're, what, tied with the Braves? Or a couple games? Uh, pretty close up there with the best league. Uh, best, the D-backs? Yeah, the D-backs. Are they up there with the Braves with the record? Yeah. Yeah, I thought so. Um. So, yeah, those are my outfielders. Ah, man, I talked a lot there. Phil. Yeah, me too. Mine felt like right. outfielders. We're Let's wrapping it. it up finally. I finally got my picks going down. I am going to start with the AL. And Bob mentioned in Oakland Athletic earlier, I am going to keep the train going. Seth Brown of the Oakland A's. I mean, he's hitting 198, oh, yeah. <laughs> four bombs, 13 <laughs> RBIs. He has a 69 OPS. And that's my favorite number. So that's why he's getting my vote. My next one is going to be. Miles Straw of the Cleveland Guardians. He's hitting 238, zero home runs, 11 <laughs> RBIs, a 619 OPS. I'm seeing signs everywhere, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Miles Straw of the Cleveland Guardians. And to wrap it up with my defensive prowess, Andrew Benatendi, base hit machine. And let me tell you, you don't know how much I love singles they are absolutely fantastic <laughs> i enjoy so many singles i fucking love this he's hitting 270 with zero home runs 14 rbis and a 686 ops can't tell me that guy just loves hitting singles because <laughs> absolutely no power there. you have two guys with no homers two guys no homers i just they're great defensive guys you know I, they're gold glove perennial candidates year in and year out has one. <laughs> yeah he does and 30 stolen bases as well um, to the NL. Um, I'm just going to get this out of the way because these guys already said it. Fernando Tatis Jr., period. Stud. That's it. Period. And then continuing to my two other ones, I'm going Juan Soto of the San Diego Padres, 258, 10 bombs, 32 ribbies, and 868 ribbies. OPS. <laughs> I absolutely love it. He loves to walk, and I love to watch him walk. It looks like he's getting better defensively as well this year. Yep, and you know I like my defense. Um, and then sticking with the defense, I'm going Trent Grisham, two-time Gold Glove winner. He's hitting 194, six home runs, 16 RBIs, a 675 OPS. That just makes me a little <laughs> love were, love seeing the 194 were, average. Were you saying when you whistled right there? Are you meaning horny? <laughs> we can't oh, say that. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Shane. We can't say that, and I didn't say that. <laughs> Where are you beating it anyway? I just, man, those numbers are sexy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we're going to go to the DH position, right? right we're right. going to continue there? Yes, yeah, go correct. Ahead. Go ahead. Okay, I'll start in the AL, and um, 
continue on in the zero home run trend. I'm going Miguel Cabrera, oh. 42 year oh. old stat padding, stat padding. We talked about this. Yep. We talked about this. Yep. This is he's the Miguel Cabrera. Uh, he's the Albert Pujols. He is of, retiring this year. I know, and he's just absolutely putting up numbies. I can't believe it. Let's hear him. 215, zero home run, seven RBIs, and a 572 OPS. <laughs> wow. My man should have retired three years ago. <laughs> you're, still, you're still cooking, though. I love you seeing up the home run numbers because that's what's important Just here. Oh respect to a legend, please. Um, it's a triple crown. <laughs> does have a triple crown and zero home runs this year. I absolutely love seeing that. <laughs> is the opposite this year. And the DHs don't play defense, so this is strictly off the offensive numbers here, and I love them. I'm um, going to the NL now. Matt Carpenter of your San Diego Padres. <laughs> I perfect. saw the 195 average, and boy, oh my God. <laughs> Damn, boy. Four home runs. The RBIs are pretty impressive, though. 26, and mm, this is the main reason why I saw. I love this. A 669 OPS. My favorite <laughs> number, my favorite position. I absolutely love it. Matt Carpenter. The best DH in the league. Dude, Jenny Cook. Wow. That's a great all-star wow. list right there, buddy. All right. <laughs> um, it. My AL is Shohei Otani. Obviously, uh, he's going to be an all-star there? no matter what. He sure was. I can't oh, believe you missed fuck. him. Um, you must be only reading uh, uh, hitters only. Hitters only. Oh, yeah, you're right. This guy's guy a pitcher, too. I thought yeah. I wrote. I thought you. Yeah, I didn't even see him. Okay, so yeah, Shoya Tony 287, 18, bomb, 46 RBS, 930 OPS, obviously, as a cannon for a right arm. Um, and then my designated hitter in the NL is a man who just had his cannon recalibrated. Bryce Harper coming off fucking AC or what, Tommy John. I almost said ACL. ACL. Uh, Tommy John surgery in his elbow, and a 298, three bombs, 12 RBIs, 843 OPS. Um, stud can't believe he came back so quick. Had it this offseason was back in May, unreal. Um, so yeah, welcome back, Bryce Harper. You're going to the show. Perfect. Let's hear you, Roman. Uh, of course, American League is Shohei Otani. Um, Bob said his numbers. I mean, guy hits freaking home runs to the moon. Love everything about it. Any pitches, but my National League is more of a fan vote here. I'm going Danny Burgers Vogel back, baby. Oh, no. uh, my man Frank the Tank's favorite player and also my favorite player. Um, he's batting a two. Shinny, you missed out on Danny Burgers. Two home runs, fourteen RBIs. Oh, don't tell me that. Oh my God! I mean, this guy's just you, a stud you can for the make mats. you can make a change. Before no, you submit I already it. submitted. I already submitted. Oh wow, wow! I had to show the, the viewers that I'm submitting this. But yeah, this is not for shits and giggles either. This is real. Yeah, real. This is I will real. Show the Thank you for voting. Thank you for voting. Yep. There um, it is. There she is. Yep. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That we, was real. We have voted. Shenny, some of your guys are gonna get one vote. Um and they should be thankful. <laughs> You're damn right they should be. I just they need to they should be thinking that they're so good with their glove that I just they have to get a vote. Have to. Yep. And um, thank God I'm watching, right? Because if I wasn't watching, they'd know what to vote for them. All right. Well, it's been Average Race Podcast. We got you our All-Star Game voting. Um, we'll be back soon with the All-Star Game announcements. Who made it? Um, they just dropped the first round of rankings, um, but it doesn't really matter. We're not close enough yet. So keep voting. That's all that matters. All right. Keep voting. Thank you for voting. Uh, thank you for voting. I voted. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking. Thank you for subscribing. To, so especially. Uh, what did you say? Uh, subscribe, subscribe, subscribing, and I said especially. Um, thank you for the Padres. I didn't know where else to go. Uh, you you lost my train of thought. So. Thank you, Austin. Uh, thanks for thanks for listening. Adios. Another one being average. Go Steelers. Go Chargers. Go Steelers. Go Chargers. I don't know why you guys do this every time. <laughs>